So in this example, we'll show you uh, a signal f of t, which is uh, which is shown here in this figure. So this signal, and we have to draw the signal which is f minus three t plus twelve. So so at first, what you have to do, f minus three t plus twelve. Um, So this one you should write in this form minus 3 t minus 4 right so from here you see that there is a minus here there is a minus here which implies folding and there is also 3 here which implies scaling and then you have 4 here minus 4 which implies shifting. So all these three operation will happen at the same at the same time uh, on the signal. So folding, scaling, shifting. However, when we draw the signal, we have to follow this. Uh, we have to follow this uh, step. First, we have to perform the folding. Then we do the scaling. So this is one, then two, then three, we, we do shifting. So shifting we do in the end. So if if you shift it first and then do scaling and folding, it will give you a wrong result. And you will not have the correct result uh, which is desirable. So, so you have to follow this sequence. The sequence is this one. First you do the folding, then scaling, then shifting. So let's try to do that. So let's plot the f minus t here. So if you plot f minus t, f minus t, then uh, it will just fold around the vertical axis. So it will be uh, so it will be. Uh, this one and this one. So you just fold it around the y axis. You should uh, you should have this one. So now this one is uh, minus 0.5, right? And this one is my uh, plus two. So it, it will be just fold around. So this is plus one. You see, one thing is very uh, obvious that no value on the y axis will change. I mean, it will just fold around, but that will, that you don't expect any change in the values of the y-axis, uh, uh, particular t equal to 0. So this is minus 0.5, and previously it was minus 0.5, it is plus 1, previously it is also, uh, it's, it's also plus 1. Uh, so, so this is f minus t. So you, you, you have done the first part, and then it, you should do the scaling. So scaling, you see, you have minus 3. You have three. So, what is the value of a here? The value of a here is the value of a here. The scaling factor is one over three, which is 0 0.33. Right. So, that means it will shrink down by one third factor. So now, if you plot this, so you have to divide everything or multiply everything by uh, one or one over three, or divide everything by three. Right, so in that case, uh, you should you should have this uh, graph. So it will be shrink down. So you divide everything by three. So two by three. So so this is suppose two by three means um, 0 0.67. So anyway, so this is suppose uh, so you, it will shrink down to 0 0.67. So maybe here it will come here. So so this is two by three, this point or point six seven, and then half, and it will come down to uh, one over six. So so it will be 
Okay, so I think, yeah. Okay, so it will be um, uh, 1 over 6, right? So it is already half and then you, you multiply it by 1 over 3, so it will be 1 over 6, which is very small, so you have maybe this thing. So it's minus 1 over 6. So this is your f minus uh, 3t or you can write down f minus t by one third whatever you want to write you can write that. Now the last operation it will shift it will shift by how much uh, how many units it will shift by four units so that means you'll have uh, this signal here so so you you, you uh, add you add 4 with each of these points so since so so you ha you should have minus 1 over 6 so let me just do a little thing here minus 1 so you add 4 because it will shift to the right so you add 4 value so it will be here 6 uh, minus 1 plus 24 so which will be uh, 23 over 6 um then so it will be around 0 1 2 3 4 so you should have something for the point here it should shift here so so 0 will be at 4 so you have this figure now right yeah so you should have so this so this point this point is uh, 23 over 6 and this point you can you can guess this point should be 2 third so 4 plus 2 third right right 4 plus 2 third which is equal to 14 over 3. So this is your signal now. This is the signal, overall signal. So you can write this is F minus 3T plus 12. So again, uh, the first step is that you, you check whether there is any folding operation. Then you check whether, uh, what is the scaling factor. Then you uh, do the shifting. So when you have folding, you just fold it over the uh, around the vertical axis and the scaling is basically you either divide all the values of t by by that factor or multiply a factor so in this case uh, you divide everything by 3 as uh, so for example when you have mine uh, when you have uh, so here i think there is a mistake we have done uh, because here the mi minus 0.5 this should not be minus 0.5 this should be minus 1 so let me just uh, correct this uh, thing so it, it should be uh, minus 1 and you divide minus 1 by 3 so in that case it should be it should be minus 1 it should be okay minus 1 by 3 so this should be minus so now you should have so this is wrong this is wrong so you should have uh, everything will be shifted by 4 so minus uh, 1 third minus 1 third should be shifted by 4 so plus 4 then you should have uh, minus 11 uh, sorry uh, plus 11 right uh, plus 11 11 by 3 so this should be uh, 11 by 3 so in this case now this is this is now 11 by 3 sorry for all the trouble uh, and then the rest one is okay 2 plus 2 over 3 so see. so this is how you should proceed when you are given will be given a problem on 
on signal operation. So now what I'll do, I'll show you a little demo on, on the signal operation. So here you see that, so we have a signal x of t, x of t is shown here and and you are performing a different operation uh, like folding, scaling and shifting, all are time domain operations. Uh, so when you have b equal to 1, then you have only shifting, x t minus a, and which is shifting. So if you have, if you just do that, the way it will shift, you see here, how, how it is shifting uh, that point, right? So when you, a is positive value, it is shifting towards right, when a is negative, it is shifting towards left. That is uh, very simple, uh, as you have seen here. Uh, so, but when you have, uh, suppose you make a equal to zero, right? Uh, this put a equal to zero, and you so you have a equal to zero. Now you have just b. So as long as b equal to one, it is same. But if b equal to uh, b is now, you see what is happening. For higher value of b greater than 1, it, it expands, it expands and if, if b is negative, it will just, if b is negative, you see here, it will be folded and expand when it is greater than 1. So here you have a folding operation and expansion operation when b is negative and greater than 1. When b is less than 1, it will, it will shrink, it will shrink, here it is shrinking now. When b is positive again and less than one, it will shrink, and when it is greater than one, it will expand. So this is how uh, uh, you know the, the operation performs. So uh, so I think you, you this is very clear from from this demo that how different operation uh, affect the signal.